Hi, this is my TOK essay breakdown series for May 2023. In these videos, I'll be unpacking the key terms and ideas in the title, as well as looking at the question from the perspective of two areas of knowledge. For a more detailed analysis, examples, and ideas on how to approach this title using different TOK concepts, please check out my May 2023 essay guides. Link in the description. Right, so in this video, we'll be looking at Title 5, which is are visual representations always helpful in the communication of knowledge? Discuss with reference to the human sciences and mathematics. Let's start with our key terms. So some possible key terms and definitions include, firstly, visual representations, which here I've put as the depiction of information through a certain visual style or format. Uh, because of course, visual representations do come in many forms from documentary videos to different types of graphs and charts. Second term I've chosen is helpful, which I've defined as implying that something is either useful for or complementary to a particular process. And finally, I decided to define the communication of knowledge, which here I have written as the transmission of an insight or skill to an individual which allows them to absorb and understand this information. Some points to consider when answering this question. Firstly, think about some different ways in which data can be deliberately misrepresented. So for instance, a graph might have a truncated y-axis in order to exaggerate the significance of certain figures. Secondly, you might wish to ask yourself, how can we distinguish between simplifying and oversimplifying information when it is presented in a visual format? Thirdly, you may also want to consider some different factors which determine the effectiveness of knowledge communication through visual mediums, such as the nature of the visual representation or the depth of knowledge of those who see it. Okay, let's have a look at our AOKs. For this question, you do, of course, have to do the human sciences and mathematics. And we'll start with the human sciences here. So, beginning with a lead-in, connecting this AOK -okay with the title prompt, I have put, visual representations are used to communicate knowledge across a wide range of disciplines in the human sciences. So, everything from psychology, anthropology, economics, and politics. For the claim, I've put that visual representations are always helpful as they can be used to portray complex sets of data and concepts in an accessible manner. So this can be seen in anything from currency forecast, visual simulations, etc. Uh, the counterclaim we're going the other way and saying that actually visual representations can be unhelpful. They may, for instance, oversimplify complex and multifaceted topics of which there are many in the human sciences. An example of this is social mapping, which arguably oversimplifies the complex nature of human interactions and relationships. Uh, bring these ideas together in a mini conclusion, I have put that whilst visual representations are helpful if they simplify knowledge, they are not so helpful in the communication of knowledge if they oversimplify it. Moving on to our second day, okay, mathematics. For the lead-in, I have put that visual representations are prevalent across primary, secondary, and tertiary levels of mathematical education. For the claim, I've put that visual representations are helpful in the communication of mathematical knowledge, uh, specifically in an educational context, as when used effectively, Visualization can help students see relationships and patterns that may be difficult to discern using other methods. And we can see this with younger learners, for example. When they use manipulatives, this can help them visualize concepts such as place value and fractions, which they may struggle to do otherwise. For the counterclaim, we push back against this and say that actually visual representations are not helpful when used in isolation. We have to consider other important factors such as e effective explanation on part of the educator 
as well as the cognitive flexibility of the students to be able to use visual aids effectively. Bring these ideas together in a mini conclusion, I've said that visual representations can be very helpful in the communication of mathematical knowledge, but they should not be relied upon too heavily. For essay guides and personal feedback, feel free to check out my website, tokessayhelp.com. Many thanks for watching.